Poverty alleviation in townships around the country is prime, and the Cape Flats are no exception. But what about the animals who find themselves with owners who have no real funding for their care or health bills? Stay tuned. She's traveling through the wild. She's searching for the truth. A true ninja's child. She's gonna find the proof. Picking up the trail. She's gonna find the answers. She's gonna tell the tale. She's gonna tell the tale. Keep it wild. They gallop and trot, capturing our imagination and our hearts. Wherever man has left his footprint in history, we'll find the hoofprint of the horse beside it. These hoofed creatures continue to serve mankind, whether as elegant show horses or as loyal workhorses. However, it is often the lowly considered workhorse that may have had the biggest impact on human history and in shaping human culture. Cart horses have to deal with a life of hardship. They have to cope with being abused, overlooked and overworked. Today's episode steps out of the wildlife arena and into the world of the service animal and the resulting abuse due to poverty. We're in the Cape Flats with the Cart Horse Protection Unit, who are the guardian angels of the welfare of these tirelessly hardworking animals. The Cart Horse Protection Association was established in 1995. At the helm of the ship is Inspector Diana Truter, who has intimate knowledge of the plight of cart horses. Their aim is to protect this working animal from abuse by developing a culture of responsibility among cart horse owners and through education and support to demonstrate the economic importance of maintaining the health of a working animal. Many roles have been played by this multi-talented beast of burden, but the role of cart horse, used mostly for the collection of heavy loads of scrap metal, on a head, on a head, get the other side, has resulted in an alarming increase in overworked, overloaded, and often increasingly abused horses. The vast majority of horse abuse and horse neglect stems from lack of knowledge and in most cases of untrained people with no prior experience of working with horses. Lack of knowledge about the proper food, water, medical care, proper harnessing and shoeing spells a slow and painful death for the loyal workhorse. Claire Toy is a clinical psychologist with a soft spot for the vulnerable amongst those who can't speak for themselves. Claire, what do you think is the root of animal abuse? I think it stems back to how people actually view animals and if they view them as, as beings with, with feelings and um, as, as valuable beings, um, then there would be less abuse. But I think for a lot of people they are seen as commodities and that might be part of why that happens. Also, I think it stems from a power imbalance and, and feeling powerful. I think a, a lot of the abuse comes from people who are frustrated.